Number 9. Barbary Lion Barbary lions, also known as Atlas lions, are the biggest subspecies of lion currently existing in the world. And we're not talking about ligers. These are legitimate lions, and they actually look quite similar to the lions from Disney's The Lion King. Barbary lions have been extinct for quite some time in the wild, but they are still being kept alive in captivity. In 2019, a pair of Barbary lion cubs were born in a zoo in the Czech Republic. This is outstanding because there are really not many of these lions left. They went extinct in the wild back in the 1960s, and there are fewer than 100 still alive in captivity. You can typically tell an adult male Barbary lion because he is absolutely massive. A typical male weighs about 500 pounds or 230 kilograms, and has an extra dark mane. These lions used to roam all the way across northern Africa, from Egypt to Morocco, and if you know anything about the region, that it is an extremely hot and sandy place. It's no wonder they all went extinct. But hey, here's an interesting fact. Barbary lions were used in Roman times to fight against gladiators in the Colosseum, and unfortunately, hunting did contribute to their ultimate extinction. Number 8. Black Lion you may have seen images circulating recently online of black lions. These lions are standing in the Sahara looking all majestic and beautiful, and they do look extremely real. However, the sad truth is that the black lion is a myth. Every last image online that you see of a black lion is fake. Black lions absolutely do not exist, and every image you see is a hoax. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but there is no black lion roaming the wilderness. The white lions are 100% real, but the black lions are not. Although theoretically a black lion could exist, no sightings of such an animal have been documented. A blog by Sarah Hartwell reports that in 2008, several black lions were apparently seen roaming the streets near Mpumalanga, South Africa, but government officials didn't find any evidence to confirm these rumours. They believe that people possibly mistook the dark brown spots for black as it was night time. The closest thing to a black lion that currently exists is the Ethiopian lion, which boasts a very impressive black mane. In order for any lion to be completely black, it would need to suffer from a condition known as melanism, which involves an abnormal increase in dark pigmentation. This is what accounts for some animals being completely black. Some examples of these animals are squirrels, leopards, jaguars, wolves and panthers. A super cool fact is that the black panther is actually a normal leopard, like those in South America, except that when it is suffering from melania, it has more pigmentation and is therefore black. And now for one of the most majestic creatures on the planet. But first, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what your favourite lion is in the comments below. Number 7. White Lion Contrary to popular belief, the white lion is not actually an albino. Neither does the white lion have bleached hair. Instead, the white lion is an extraordinarily unique animal, and something of an anomaly in the animal kingdom. White lions are also under threat of extinction. Unfortunately, they have been technically extinct in the wild for almost 15 years. There is an ongoing battle to ensure the white lions remain in nature. The actual reason for these lions being white is something called leucism. It is a rare mutation in their genes that causes them to have a coat of fur that is anywhere from white to blonde rather than the brownish yellow that we associate with normal lions. If these lions were albinos, it would be a lack of skin pigmentation that makes them white, but this is actually just a mutation that causes their fur to have a different colour. This majestic lion was almost completely exterminated from nature due to trophy hunting. These lions began to be raised in captivity in zoos in the area. It was not only for this reason that the lions were kept in confinement, but it was also ignorance. Conservationists at the time thought that white lions were inferior to other lions and that their appearance could affect their survival in the wild. However, there is no evidence to prove this. The white lions are so strong and they hunt just like their lion brothers. It is even believed that their white fur helps them to catch their prey, as its unusual colour confuses their victims. Definitely it makes them one of the most unique subspecies of lion in the world. If you are anxious to see these beautiful creatures, don't hesitate to visit the Timbavati Game Reserve. Number 6. Liger Hybrid A lot of people don't know that ligers are real animals, but these are not like mythical chimeras, part lion, part snake and part goat. Ligers are the direct result of a male lion breeding with a female tiger. The opposite of a lion is actually known as a tigon, the result of a male tiger mating with a female lion. Strangely enough, both a liger and a tigon will possess features from both parents, making them each incredibly unique. Ligers have a tendency to be larger and heavier than either of their parents. Biologists believe that the large size of the liger is due to a peculiar absence of growth-limiting genes. This means that they are not limited to how large they can grow. 
A typical liger can grow to be roughly 10.8 feet or 3 meters in length and over 900 pounds, that's 410 kilograms. However, there have been reports of ligers that weigh over 2200 pounds, that's over 1 ton, though these are unconfirmed. As you can probably imagine, there are no ligers found in the wild. Lions and tigers can indeed mate, but there is far too much geography that separates them across the world. This is why all known ligers are from breeding in captivity. Despite this, some animal rights organizations see this practice as unethical, as these species often acquire birth defects. In addition, they have interaction problems, since their behavior is a mixture of both species rather than just one. Number five, Hercules. And continuing with the magnificent ligers, there is a particular kitten that has the title of the biggest living cat according to the Guinness World Records. His name is Hercules. Thanks to his unique genes, he is 131 inches or 3.5 meters long. Hercules is incredibly large. He weighs nearly 1,000 pounds, that's 450 kilograms, and eats roughly 30 pounds or 14 kilograms of meat a day. Hercules also has a brother named Sinbad, though Hercules is the biggest. His current location is in Myrtle Beach in the United States. Hercules actually belongs to Doc Antle, who you may remember from the hit show Tiger King. And while Hercules is named the largest living cat in the world, he looks pretty for such an incredible beast. You can see photos of this massive liger being bottle fed quite constantly. Hercules is just another example of how large these animals can grow. Ligers can not only grow to be twice the size of their parents, but they also grow to be about 100 times larger than a normal house cat. Now that is one massive kitty. Now for number four, but first, tell me in the comments below, what do you think about these great hybrids? And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 4. Cizanani Cizanani is one of the most unique lions on the planet. Cizanani was a long-time resident of the Manyaleti Game Reserve in the Greater Kruger National Park in South Africa. He was known as a true survivor according to National Geographic and was the most famous lion in all of South Africa. He was born in early 2007 into a pride with roughly 20 other young, and from his birth, Cizanani was an immediate alpha. Attacks on the other herds during 2008 devastated their herd. Many cubs were victims of the attack, as were some adult lionesses. The pride was fragmented and Cizanani and his brother were the only survivors. The first time the brothers were seen together on the Manuelletti was in mid-2012. Cizanani's brother had a very serious hip injury that he sustained for a long time, possibly with Cizanani's help. This is where Cizanani earned his name, which means working together. He was known for disappearing out into the wild for extremely long periods of time, usually in which people would assume he had died then randomly return after his wanders and lay claim to entire areas as the leader of the pride. This lion was so tough that he even had more than one region. He would fluctuate between homes in different areas of the park and in different regions of South Africa to mate with different females, be the boss of different herds, and just be a general tough guy. He was something of an anomaly in how tough he was, going so far as to roam on his own and even take down fully grown buffalo all by himself. Unfortunately, Cizanani suffered a hip injury and perished in October of 2017, but he had a solid 10 years of owning the deserts of South Africa. This is definitely a unique lion. Number three, Cape Lion. Cape Lions were once some of the most fearsome felines on the planet. They lived on the opposite side of Africa from the Barbary Lions, roaming far in the south of South Africa. In fact, this is why they are called Cape Lions, since they originated from the Cape of Good Hope. While they no longer exist, as they were sadly hunted and captured to extinction in the 1800s, they were once a very proud and unique race of lions. They are very distinct because of their dark, almost black mane. Their mane also grows longer down their front and beneath their belly, unlike many other types of lions. It's almost like they have a blanket on their belly. The Burnaby lion is generally considered the largest natural lion, but the Cape lion is a close second. There have been encounters with Cape lions before their extinction when males were found to be around 600 pounds, 280 kilograms, which is a significant weight. And if you were wondering why these lions had darker and longer manes, researchers actually believe that the color of a lion's mane is generally influenced by the climate. And so, in places where it is cool and less sunny, manes typically grow darker and longer. If you think lions can only live in the scorching heat of a desert, you're quite wrong. If you want to know more about this species, you can visit some museums that keep skulls and stuffed replicas. Some of these museums are the Natural History Museum in London, the Zoological Museum in Amsterdam, and the Natural History Museum in Paris. So, if you ever visit any of these cities, don't hesitate to stop by. Number 2. Ethiopian Lion Ethiopia is one of the most amazing countries on Earth. It is home to the Ethiopian Lion, which is one of the world's rarest and most unique lions. Why? 
As recently as 2016, an entire population of Ethiopian lions was discovered in a national park. There are now an estimated 100 to 200 Ethiopian lions living in the northwest of the country, very near to the Sudanese border. In all likelihood, these lions managed to stay alive because of the extreme isolation of the area. Lions may seem abundant because of their frequent appearances in documentaries, but the reality is different. Since 1980, global lion populations are thought to have declined by up to 75%, meaning that there are only about 20,000 of these cats left in the wild. The lions of Ethiopia in particular are intriguing because of their remoteness. It's a three-day journey from civilization to where the lions are. However, this doesn't protect them. Shepherds travel to this area every year to make way for their livestock, and this could put these felines in big trouble. Male Ethiopian lions are not so large or heavy as other lions, but they have a distinctively ferocious look with a bit of blonde hair around their face and then a massive black mane. Quite intimidating. Number 1. Cave Lion Cave lions are the coolest of all lions, and so they have to be number one on the list. You may wonder why he is called the Cave Lion, and no, it was not because he lived there, but because most of his skeletons were found in bear caves. They probably thought it was a good place to hibernate, but it wasn't. Unfortunately, the last of the Eurasian cave lions died about 12,000 years ago, near the end of the last ice age. However, it is still one of the largest lions that ever lived. The only lion larger than the cave lion was the American lion, which is also unfortunately extinct. In fact, if you look at all the extinct lions throughout the past few thousand years, you will find dozens of subspecies. Different types of lions used to roam the earth in the same way different kinds of dogs now roam our streets. In any case, the Eurasian cave lion was still about 10% larger than any modern lion today. We obviously don't have any photos of them, but there have been cave paintings discovered that show what researchers believe are cave lions. They almost look like a wolf and lion hybrid. They usually measured about 7 feet or 2 meters long, not counting the tail, and weighed about 800 pounds, that's 370 kilograms. They had shaggy manes, and they inhabited woodlands and mountains rather than deserts and savannas. Number 10. A real-life dire wolf. Yellowstone National Park is known for its natural wonders and incredible wildlife, from grazing deer to wild grey wolves. Wolves were almost completely wiped out throughout most of the US by the early 1900s, but in 1995, wild wolves were released in Yellowstone to try and help their numbers recover. January 12, 2020 was the 25th anniversary since wolves returned to Yellowstone, and it's an amazing success story. These majestic animals are fierce to behold in their natural habitat. Nobody knows this better than a photographer named Siddharth Gandhi, who happened upon a dangerous wild wolf while driving through the Lamar Valley back in the winter of 2017. He reported that he was driving back in the evening when the wolf appeared on the side of the edge of the road. He stopped his car and said it was an amazing experience to see a wild grey wolf so close. I was in awe. What Mr Gandhi spotted while driving the nighttime road was no ordinary grey wolf. With a black coat of fur and yellow eyes, at first it crosses the street like a possessed beast from the underworld. Gandhi seemed to have stumbled upon a real-life direwolf. The photographer's video shows a four-legged creature trailing along the roadside, looking to be at least 150 pounds of raw muscle. The wolf showed absolutely no fear while it walked from one side of the road to another, totally confident in the photographer's headlights. It was identified as a female named White Dot, from the Prospect Peak Pack that has about 10 members. At first she looks terrifying, but after a little while you could imagine her being friendly. Well, I still wouldn't risk it, would you? After witnessing this impressive beast, the photographer's goal is to showcase wildlife in their natural habitat. He does not use bait to encourage animals to come closer. While animal sightings are fairly common in Yellowstone National Park, spotting such a fearsome wolf is truly incredible. Next time you're at Yellowstone, keep your ears open for the wolf's howl, or perhaps you'll even be lucky enough to see one. Number 9. A snake in an internet cafe. It was a quiet day in Thailand when a small internet cafe was rudely invaded by what appeared to be a massive four foot long snake. A customer was casually opening the door while chatting to his friends when suddenly he felt something on his hand. He tried to shake it off before realizing it was a snake. The snake had been lurking in the corner outside and was just waiting for the right moment. It launched itself at the boy and snapped at him. It probably meant to go after his hand but missed. His reaction was expected, a sudden burst of panic as he jumped across the room and drop kicked another young guy who had been trying to enjoy his paid internet. After a brief kicking frenzy on the floor, the snake let go and retreated to a corner, scaring another two people sitting in their chairs using the internet. Everyone hopped on the chairs to get as far away from it as possible. Luckily, no one was harmed and the snake wasn't one of Thailand's venomous slithery reptiles like their infamous monocle cobra or Siamese viper. 
It was only a rat snake, apparently looking for food. And while the young man got away with nothing more than a terrific scare, he's definitely going to look twice the next time he opens the door. Number 8. A manta ray seeks human help. Everyone knows Australia has some of the world's most incredible and dangerous wildlife, especially aquatic animals. From jellyfish to sharks, turtles to manta rays, the shores of Australia are teeming with some of Earth's most amazing creatures. An encounter in summer 2019 shows just how close the relationship between man and sea beast can be. While swimming in the area of Ningaloo Bay, Australia, a diver was asked nicely by Freckles, a local manta ray, to help remove a dangerous hook that had pierced beneath its eye. The resulting video footage shows a massive white-bellied manta ray opening its wings so that the swimmer can pull out the ugly hook. It is truly incredible to witness the total stillness as the manta ray waits for the man to successfully pull out the hook. The water is clear blue, the manta ray completely open like a pale underwater angel, and the swimmer desperately trying to unhook the alien object from the manta ray's eye. Finally, after a few attempts, the diver removes the hook and the manta ray swims off into the depths. It's astonishing, but there's no doubt it was grateful for the human's help. Sharks have also been known to do this with divers. No matter what you think about these animals, they're clearly smarter than we give them credit for. This underwater encounter proves that much. Have you ever had a crazy encounter with a wild animal? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Number 7. A peak from a humpback whale. I never knew that Ireland was the best place to go looking for an incredible encounter with a humpback whale. While boating in the summer of 2019 along the Irish coast near County Kerry, a young boy was stunned to find himself staring directly into the eye of a truly majestic creature of the sea. As if a team of whales swimming around the father and son's small boats was not impressive enough, the whale pokes its entire blue head out of the water and appears to look straight at the young boy. If that's not enough to make you pause in amazement, I don't know what is. Nothing describes the boy's shock quite like how he gapes back at his father in the video. Humpback whales are gentle giants, ranging anywhere from 39 to 52 feet in length and weighing up to 30 metric tons. They aren't necessarily shy, but they don't generally pop out of the water to wink at people either. This boy was truly given the peak of his lifetime at this friendly whale. Number 6. Canadian grizzlies have a disagreement. Canada is a land of natural beauty, but also of savage wildlife, and yes, that means bloody encounters between huge grizzly bears. It was in September of 2019 that a woman came across two grizzlies at the side of the road near the border between Canada and Alaska in one of the wildest places in the world. Incredibly enough, she came upon these bears in the middle of a heated argument. In a video posted by the onlooker, two huge male grizzly bears roar and shove each other from one side of the road to another. The brawl is as intense as it gets. Grizzly bears are true giants of the Canadian wilderness, heavy and fiercely territorial when it comes to mating season. You can see the power of these two beasts as they roar and try to take bites out of one another. In fact, the bear's fight is so exciting that a small wolf appears on the side of the road to enjoy the show free of charge. Is the wolf as amazed by this unexpected encounter as the one who's videotaping it? We can only guess. But in any case, the video ends with the victorious bear chasing the other one across the road, likely expelling it forever from the territory. Remember this incredible encounter next time you're in bear country. Number 5. Surprise Silverback Gorilla in Rwanda Getting in the way of a silverback gorilla and making him angry is not what you want to do. Sounds obvious, right? Well, in May of 2017, a group of tourists learned this the hard way. Of course, they wanted to see the gorilla up close, but they were a little too eager. The video uploaded by one of the tourists shows the group in a dense area of jungle in Rwanda. Who comes strolling up the path? A massive silverback gorilla. You can see the tourists in the video turning their backs on the gorilla to not appear challenging or threatening. If one had made the silly move of pulling out their camera or saying hello to the giant ape, this encounter could have gone very differently. As it went, the gorilla simply kept on trucking right through the people, shouldering past them like a pushy pedestrian in a big hurry. The person who uploaded the video called it a once in a lifetime experience and the adrenaline levels must have been through the roof. What do you think? Do you want to trek with gorillas? One thing is for certain, having a full-sized silverback gorilla nonchalantly stroll by you in the middle of the African jungle is one heck of an incredible encounter. Number 4. Panther on the boardwalk Florida is notorious for gators, ridiculously large snakes, countless miles of wetlands, and some of the hottest weather in the country. But did you know that in recent years there has been a rather unexpected resurgence of panthers? That's right, panthers. You know, pumas. Big cats with big teeth and sharp claws. Well. A lady from Wisconsin was taking a leisurely hike in a Florida nature preserve when she had a run-in with one of these powerful predators. National Geographic reports that encounters with the Florida panther have been increasing as they make a slow comeback, but remember, 
they were here first. In a video posted by the shocked woman, she was clearly enjoying a nice quiet stroll. Then, the oversized house cat came jumping out of the shadows. The woman continued filming, backed against the railing, then gasped as the feline charged past and kept on down the boardwalk. I think it's safe to say she was given the surprise of a lifetime in this incredible wildlife encounter. As scared as we may be of these majestic felines, it is crucial to remember that they are more afraid of us. And while there are only somewhere around 180 panthers living in Florida, it looks like their numbers are growing. How will the increasing number of panthers impact the local residents of the Sunshine State? Number 3. A Curious Hyena Hyenas have become famous from their role in The Lion King, the goofy scoundrels of the African savannah. But did you know that hyenas are actually apex predators? Did you also know that hyenas are not dogs, but are closer genetically to big cats like leopards and tigers? Well, it's true. These incredible animals are surprisingly dangerous, with jaws that can easily crunch through bone. During a 2019 safari in the Masai Mara of Kenya, a tour guide and his group came shockingly close to a curious hyena in the wild. Rather than leap into the safari jeep, the hyena merely approached and sniffed, seeming to say hello to the safari guide. He seemed even more surprised than his guests. Hyenas are typically pack hunters, but the lone hyena was keen on making friends. After a brief interaction, the hyena went back about its business, leaving everyone in the jeep stunned by such a rare and beautiful wildlife encounter. What about you? Would you like a personal greeting from one of these crazy carnivals? Or would you prefer to stay away from the savannah and keep all your fingers intact? Remember, hyenas have been known to attack unsuspecting humans asleep in their territory. Number 2. Giant Squid Off The Coast Of Japan The ocean, that is the deep ocean, is riddled with the stuff of nightmares. Fish with no eyes and giant teeth, monstrous sharks who can smell blood from far away, and dangerous jellyfish that ensnare and devour prey. But is there really a kraken at the bottom of the sea? Honestly, it's not likely. But the closest thing to a real-life kraken is definitely the giant squid. Back on Christmas Eve 2015, while diving in Toyama Bay near Tokyo, an excited diver filmed a very special squid's first ever viral close-up. While only measuring roughly 12 feet long, the squid still looked imposing. Shaped like an orange torpedo, the squid swam about for a while, followed and filmed by the diver, before retreating out to sea. What makes this wildlife encounter so incredible is that most giant squid are only found once their bodies get washed up on shore or drift close to the ocean's surface. They are one of the most elusive sea creatures, living far beneath the waves. This curious squid was just a baby at 12 feet long, since adults can grow to be at least 40 feet. Some scientists say that the squid can grow to a maximum of 60 feet while living in the darkest depths of the sea. Imagine bumping into one of those on your next snorkeling trip. And now for the number one unbelievable animal encounter in the wild. But first, let me ask you something. Which of these animal encounters impresses you the most? Which animal would you want to meet in the wild? And which scares you the most? I look forward to seeing your answers in the comments below. Number one, panda meets horse in northwest China. There is only one country in the world where you can find wild pandas coming down the road while walking your horse. Of course, it has to be China. A video from 2018 shows a man walking with his horse up a steep mountain trail in the Shanxi province of China, when a panda comes walking down the trail towards them. What follows is one of the most interesting animal encounters on this list. The horse appears to be stunned by the oncoming panda. This makes sense, since it's not often that you'd find horses and pandas frolicking together in the wild. After a brief pause, the horse decides to keep going up the road, then the panda tries to rush the horse. After a bit of panic and confusion, the panda backs off and the horse decides to eat some nearby grass. Moments later, the panda vanishes up the road. Suffice to say, these two animals probably don't have a future as friends. Seeing as how rare pandas are, the horse and panda meeting is a seriously incredible animal encounter. Number 10. Blue Ringed Octopus the next time you're out for a swim in the ocean and you come upon a tiny little octopus with blue rings all over its body, don't even think about touching it. The blue ringed octopus produces an incredibly potent neurotoxin, known as tetrodotoxin, which can cause you some serious harm. According to the Ocean Conservatory, this is the type of neurotoxin that is also found in the infamous pufferfish. The venom is produced by bacteria in the octopus's salivary glands and is more toxic than any venom secreted by a land animal. The octopus typically uses its venom for hunting prey such as crabs and small fish. It pecks its prey with its beak, thereby inserting the venom. And then the octopus uses its beak to pick off little scraps of meat while its victim is still alive and helplessly paralysed. Yeah, this is a pretty brutal octopus. In humans, the bites from the blue-ringed octopus can be deadly. 
The venom will first block the nerve signals throughout your body, causing you to become completely numb. Other symptoms will soon follow, such as nausea, vision loss, and loss of motor skills. In the end, the venom will cause complete muscle paralysis, including the muscles you use to breathe, and you will eventually die. The only way to survive the bite from a blue ring octopus is if you're put on artificial respiration immediately. Number 9. Deathstalker With a name like Deathstalker, you should already know not to touch it. This tiny little scorpion is also known as the Israeli Desert Scorpion. It's a dull yellow in colour, and can grow to be about 4.5 inches in length, which is pretty small for a scorpion. It has a thin tail and lives for around 6 years if nothing eats it. At the end of its long tail is a stinger that is typically coloured black. They can be found roaming around dry desert areas in the north of Africa and throughout the Middle East. They make their homes under stones and inside natural burrows, and they capture their prey by springing out of holes and pinching little animals with their little pinchy pincers. But what makes these Deathstalker scorpions particularly deadly is their poison. The Deathstalker scorpion has the strongest venom out of any scorpion on Earth. If you decided to touch one for some silly reason, it would probably sting you, and you would then convulse, slip into paralysis, and eventually die due to heart and respiratory failure. As a side note, you can typically tell how deadly a scorpion is by its size. Scorpions that are really big and have powerful pincers don't generally have deadly toxins, but something as tiny as the Deathstalker with little weak pincers is going to have much stronger poison, and this one does. Have you ever seen one of these? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Cone Snail You wouldn't normally think about touching a snail. Even the snails and slugs in your garden are pretty gross and pretty slimy. You're probably not picking them up and rubbing them on your face. However, if you are a weirdo who likes to play with snails, there is one snail you definitely want to stay away from. It's known as the Cone Snail, and they are the deadliest snail in the world. They harpoon their prey using a tooth-like spear that injects the victim with deadly toxins, paralyzing them instantly. This allows the cone snail to slowly pull the unsuspecting fish or worm inside of its shell so that it can digest it whole. What's really interesting is that after the snail harpoons other animals with its weird tooth, the tooth is then discarded and instantly replaced by a new one. It's like having a gun that never runs out of bullets. It's believed that most cone snails travel with about 20 of these harpoon teeth locked and loaded at all times, but they can continue to make new ones. The deadliest of all 800 different species of cone snails is known as the cigarette snail, which is typically found in the Indo-Pacific region. The reason it's called a cigarette snail is because the toxin it delivers into your bloodstream is so powerful that you only have enough time to finish a single cigarette before you die from its attack. This should be a warning to any shell collector. Watch out for these deadly snails. And now for number 7, but first, let me know if you've ever encountered any of these animals, and what other animals you would like to see in future videos. And be sure to subscribe because we have lots more coming up! Number 7. Boom Slang This one should be pretty self-explanatory. You would have to be a complete nutjob to voluntarily touch a snake. It's estimated that somewhere between 1 million and 5 million people are bitten by snakes each year, with about one-fifth of bites resulting in death. Of course, that number is much lower than it was a few decades ago thanks to anti-venoms, and there being less snakes in civilized places. But that doesn't mean you should go around stroking every snake you see. Especially not the deadly boomslang snake. Unlike most poisonous snakes, like vipers that have their fangs at the front of their jaw, boomslang snakes have their fangs at the rear of their jaw. This would usually make it very difficult for them to sink their fangs deep into a person, but because the boomslang snake can open its mouth at almost a 180 degree angle when it's biting, it's able to sink its fangs deep into your flesh. And that's when the horrifying venom gets pumped into your veins. The good news is that you're probably not going to run into one of these green and black serpents anytime soon. They don't typically hang out in North America. Number 6. Africanized Bees We're going to do something a little bit different for this one. It's time to talk about killer bees, also known as Africanized honeybees. They have a notorious reputation for being some of the most deadly and aggressive bees on the planet. However, according to a report by CNN, that is absolutely not the case. Killer bees are smaller than normal bees, they have less powerful venom, but they are still pretty aggressive. Yes, killer bees are the angriest bees in the world, but they're not actually going to murder you. At least, it's not likely. Where did killer bees come from? Well, in 1956, a Brazilian scientist imported African bees to South America. These bees eventually escaped, bred with European bees in the wild, and gave birth to a whole new species. And of course, they gradually began to spread. By 1985, they had reached Mexico, and by 2014, killer bees were all over the United States and Canada. Somewhere along the line, the Africanized honeybees became known as killer bees, but they don't actually do much killing. Still, 
This is a small animal that you don't want to touch. They are aggressive, and if you go poking around their hive, you are going to get a pretty nasty surprise. Unless you have an allergic reaction to bee stings, it will take about 1,000 stings from these bees to kill you. And while typical European bees are not going to come out with that kind of force, Africanized bees will. Over the past 50 years, Africanized honeybees, aka killer bees, have been responsible for several hundred human deaths. Number 5. Tetsi Fly The Tetsi Fly is one of the lesser known pests in the world, mainly due to it living primarily in Africa. This is not an insect you want to let crawl around on your skin. The bite from the tetsi fly can be deadly, but not for the same reason as mosquitoes or other flies. The tetsi fly is notorious for spreading something known as African sleeping sickness. There are two different types of African sleeping sickness, depending on which region you're in, and it's typically transmitted through the bite of one of these annoying flies. African sleeping sickness can be just as deadly as other diseases, such as malaria, except it takes upwards of two months for the patients to become deceased. If this fly bites you, the first sign of trouble is going to be a big red chancre sore. If you contract the disease, you will quickly begin suffering from a fever, brutal headaches, extreme fatigue, a swollen throat, aching joints, and a skin rash. As the disease persists, you will get progressively more confused, your personality may change, and as the infection invades your central nervous system, even more neurological problems will occur. If left untreated, you will probably die. The lesson of this story is to bring your insect repellents with you on your next trip to Africa, don't let these flies touch you. Number 4. Brazilian Wandering Spider It should be no surprise that Brazil is home to some of the world's most terrifying small animals. In fact, I could go on and on about a thousand different animals in the Brazilian jungles that you should never touch. But let's keep it simple. Our big no-no of today is the Brazilian Wandering Spider. It's also known as the Banana Spider, and it goes by the scientific name Phonutria, which is Greek for murderess. That's because this spider is one of the most venomous on Earth. Its bite can easily kill a human, and even with antivenom you might not be so lucky. In fact, the Guinness Book of World Records has the Brazilian wandering spider named as the most venomous spider on the planet. There are a total of 8 species of Brazilian wandering spider, and you can find all of them living in Brazil. There are others found throughout Latin America, all the way from Argentina up to Costa Rica, and you should not touch any of them. Do you know why they also call them banana spiders? It's because these are the sneaky spiders that are sometimes exported to Europe and North America in shipments of bananas. They love living in a big cluster of bananas, so be careful the next time you're at the grocery store shopping for fruits and veggies. Number 3. Rats Rats are universally despised. There is no place on earth where people welcome the presence of rats, especially sewer rats. These horrible little monsters have caused havoc on civilization time after time as the spreaders of disease. And for this reason alone, nobody should ever touch a rat, especially a sewer rat. If you have a clean rat at home in a cage, it probably isn't diseased. But if you find one scrounging through your garbage and decide to try and pet it, you might come down with a bad case of the Black Plague. That's right, these disgusting little rodents were primarily to blame for transmitting the bubonic plague that wiped out almost all of Europe several hundred years ago. This is because of the fleas that live on the rats. The fleas can jump between rats and humans, spreading infection everywhere they go. It's not actually the rat itself that infects people with diseases. It's the bug carried on their fur that transmits typhus, bubonic plague, and so much more. Then you have to worry about the urine and saliva of rats, which can get you sick with a viral infectious disease known as lymphocytic choreomeningitis. This is why it's not a good idea to ever touch a rat. Don't even touch anything that the rat has touched, as a single drop of urine, saliva or feces can get you so sick that you end up in hospital. If you find rats in your house, you better call an exterminator immediately. Number 2. Feral Cats There is nothing sadder than seeing a poor stray cat meowing in the alley at night. It's just so sad, and it undoubtedly makes you want to go outside, pick up the stray cat, and bring it into your house to cuddle you all day. However, you should stay far away from stray cats, which are often feral. Feral cats are the mangiest of all the felines, and they typically hang out in dumpsters, around abandoned buildings, and in heavily wooded areas. They are almost always full of diseases, just like rats. There is a stiff difference between the fluffy house cat that purrs against your leg, and the feral cat screeching from the dumpster at night. To make things worse, feral cats often hang out in something known as a feral cat's colony, which is basically a big group of rabbit cats that take over abandoned basements, decaying tenements, sewer systems, and everywhere else full of grossness. And just like rats, any feral cat is able to carry parasites and diseases that can be transmitted to you, a human. 
You might think petting a stray cat outside is showing it some love, but you'll definitely regret it when a week later you're infected with a horrible disease and sent to hospital. At the very least, you can get ringworm from hanging out with feral cats, and though it's not going to kill you, it's still pretty gross. Number 1. Baby Bears If you don't live in an area heavily populated by bears, you have probably never thought twice about what to do if you stumble upon a baby bear. There is no arguing that bears are some of the most adorable, ferocious beasts still living on our planet. There is nothing cuter than a baby bear rolling through the grass near the side of a hiking trail. But don't you dare approach a baby bear, and don't even think about touching it. If you see a baby bear, chances are 100% that the mama bear is very close by and ready to eat your brains. Typically, bears are not aggressive. They will run away or do whatever they can to avoid a fight, and they won't actually eat your brains. But if you get the crazy idea to try and touch a bear's baby, you'll probably see the big one charging out of the woods like a very real beast. Bears can actually run at around 37 miles per hour. Even if you stopped on the side of the road to try and touch some baby bears you saw near the edge of the forest, you probably wouldn't have time to make it back to your car before the mama bear pounced. Have you ever had a run-in with one of these small but deadly animals? Let me know in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon for another amazing video.